I observe human body with keen eye. In labs and morgue, I am never shy. My role is to diagnose diseases with precision. Who am I in the medical mission? Welcome to Pathology Riddles. Today, we are here with this topic called as How to Read Pathology from this important book in pathology called Robbins. Every second year MBBS student wants to know how to read Robbins. The reason behind this is because Robbins is like a new language to them. When you are just coming from first year and with a background of 11 to 12 standard, you will not come across so much depth and in detail about cellular biology as you get in Robbins. Reading Robbins is like learning a new language and this language will help you to understand the mechanism of every disease that you are going to encounter from second year onwards. Wait till the end if you want a bonus tip. Let's dive right into the topic. The first book that you need to read is Basic Pathology. There are two books mainly Pathology Pieces of Disease and the second one is Basic Pathology. Both are part of Robbins itself. Those who find it difficult to read the big book that is Pathologic Basis of Disease and those who are finding the language very difficult, first you go to Basic Pathology. This is like a concise or the synopsis of the Pathologic Basis of Disease book. Once you understand Basic Pathology and you get comfortable after reading it, then you shift to Pathologic Basis of Disease, which is a must read book in if you want to understand the basic mechanisms of every disease as well as if you want to answer competitive exams. There is no shortcut for this. You have to read Pathologic Basis of Disease. So how do you read this big book? If you open the Pathologic Basis of Disease, then you will see that the index has got General Pathology chapters and Systemic Pathology chapters. You start with General Pathology chapters. The most important chapters are Cell Injury, followed by Inflammation, Hemodynamic Disorders. Then you have Genetics, Immunology and Neoplasia. These are the chapters which form the basics of all the diseases. So you learn this as thoroughly as possible. How many other times that you can read in the first four months, try to understand these as many times. Because simultaneously in clinics, you will be learning about how to take a case history. You will learn all the basics of that. So right now you don't need to dive into each disease. So once these four months have passed and you have understood these six chapters, then you can go to all those cases which are common in your locality. That is some of the infectious diseases which might be common in your locality. You need to know how the body behaves when it encounters a virus, a fungus, a parasite, a bacteria and helmets. Then you need to know about which are the other common diseases in different systems. Like for example, in cardiovascular system, you will get rheumatic fever and ischemic heart disease. In uh, respiratory system, you might get chronic bronchitis, emphysema, occupational diseases, bronchial asthma. And then in gastrointestinal system, peptic ulcer disease or uh, colon carcinoma, gastric carcinoma. These are the common diseases. And even in gyne gynecology, you will get fibroid uterus, adenomyosis, endometriosis and uh, hyperplasia, endometrial hyperplasia. All these are the different common diseases that you get in different wards. So when you start learning about diseases in the wards, try to come and correlate and learn the pathogenesis, pathology, clinical signs and symptoms from the pathology textbook. So that way you are understanding of the basics of clinics will be better as well as you will understand pathology as a subject. Now, if you're getting bored while reading the general pathology chapters, then you can go to this book called as Review of Pathology. That is also by Robbins and uh, it has case scenarios. So you can read one case and then try to understand why that case has occurred. It's in an MCQ type book. So that way you can keep your interest in general pathology intact for the four months. Then once you start your systemic pathology, the interest will automatically keep going. Let's say you know all the diseases that are common in your hospital and in your locality. Then you go to diseases that are commonly asked in your exams other than these diseases. And finally, the rest of the diseases which you have left out so that you get a holistic or a completion of the whole Robbins. So that's how you complete this book. Once you complete, you are supposed to remember and recall so that you will be able to write for exams as well as whenever you get a case, you will be able to remember the pathogenesis in mind. And how will you do that? Let's see. We all have this habit of highlighting our textbooks as well as writing notes. But there's this method called as mind map method where you write the key disease in the center and then you write the keywords. You can divide the mind map into a central word that is the name of the disease. Then you can draw around seven radial lines, one depicting the etiology, pathogenesis, pathology, clinical features, prognosis, staging. And write the keywords of each disease. 
and every time you get some extra information from the clinics, keep adding those keywords. It is not possible to write down everything from the textbook and make proper notes as you used to do in your primary classes because pathology is vast and if you try to write everything then probably you will rewrite the whole of Robbins again. So now every time you read you need to compile it into two or three keywords and then you need to place it on the mind map and as you revise the mind map once every two weeks you will be able to recall it and you will be able to know the disease in the long term. It will stay in your long term memory. So that's how you will be able to write and recall. Now since you have waited till the end of the video, one bonus tip is suppose at some time you won't understand and you feel it boring to read general pathology. So once you start a chapter, just sit straight and try to complete the chapter. So as you keep doing that, you will get familiar with that particular text. So the next time you read it, when you are in your mood and when you are in very interested, you will feel that you have already read and you will be able to process it better and understand it better. So read from the beginning of the book, beginning of the chapter to the end of the chapter. In this way, you will be able to read Robbins fast. You will be able to understand the pathologic basis of every disease and you will be able to recall using mind map and MBBS will be easy after that. So this is Dr. Susan signing out until we meet in the next video.